Hey, what's up, guys? It's Alex again. It's time for another re video review, and this time I'm going to be showing you uh, Nero version 3 by Team Whiskey. I've been getting a lot of requests for this uh, for this video, so hopefully you guys like it, get a lot of information from it, help you decide which ROM you want to flash and whatnot. Now, since my previous video or my last video that I did was on uh, Azura's latest ROM, you might see me compare this ROM a lot to Azura. Um, I just want to like have a comparison sake so that you can kind of uh, gauge, um, you know, what features are important to you, which aren't, so that you can, you know, choose which one you want to flash. So here we go. Just like the previous video, we will judging this ROM based on four different categories. We're going to judge it on its speed, its features and functionality, which will be uh, combined, uh, aesthetics and network and battery life, and which will be combined. So those four categories, we're going to give it a score from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, and then at the end we'll average out all the scores of each individual category to give you an overall score for the ROM. Alright, so here we go. First off is speed. Now, first on the list is uh, when you're when you open up a new ROM and you're playing with it, and you're looking for you know uh, indications of of speed increases and performance. It's always about things like launching apps. You know, if a ROM launches and closes apps quickly, you automatically think that you know this ROM is blazing. And as you can see here, these these um these apps are opening very quickly. Okay, like apps that that weren't preloaded or anything are opening very quickly which is a good indication of uh, the ROM's speed so as you can see just me pressing home and stuff getting out of uh, opened apps everything is pretty fast All right, and uh, scrolling throughout the ROM is very nice as you can see right here everything flows very good so scrolling throughout the UI the, win the pages in the app drawer everything is very good there and scrolling through long lists is very smooth and fast too okay uh, returning home is always really snappy um, I really like that uh, when you put the phone to sleep and turn it back on there's just a slight delay like maybe like a split second like just a tiny bit slower than Axura's wake up time. Uh, it's not anything noticeable or anything that would matter, but you know, just for comparison's sake, it is just a tiny bit slower at at waking up. Uh, unless you do it a, a lot of times, and then it starts memorizing what you're doing, and then it does it all fast to disprove your point. Anyways, sorry, my little tantrum. Um, this this ROM comes pre-installed uh, with Voodoo included. However, uh, Voodoo is initially disabled, so once you flash the ROM, you have to enable Voodoo to get its uh, the uh, the speed improvements. But when I did, uh, my quadrant score was 1450, which is typical of these ROMs that are running Voodoo. So, good indication of speed. Now, uh, in the category of speed, I'm wrap it up. I'm gonna give this uh, category a nine. Uh, you know, nothing slow, nothing bogs down, so pretty good overall. Uh, next category we're gonna talk about is features and functionality. Uh, first things first, the pull down menu. A lot of people care about these toggles up here, okay? Because this is a really, really good feature that I think should be implemented into stock Android, but you know, uh, whatever. As you can see, the toggles here will allow you one click access to turning on and off Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, silencing the phone, and locking the phone's orientation. Very handy, very handy, very handy. The battery icon up here does not include. Um, uh, battery percent indicator so it's just the solid icon so you're gonna have to either download a battery widget or look in the menus and settings uh, to get your battery percentage so this ROM is basically um, it's basically a clone to look a lot like uh, gingerbread Android 2.3 it is actually based on Android 2.2 Froyo uh, however and this particular build Nero version 3 is built off of Samsung's latest uh, uh, leak JL5. We'll talk more about JL5 later. The keyboards that come, the keyboard that comes pre-installed in the ROM include uh, Swipe, the Samsung keypad, and uh, the Gingerbread keyboard, uh, themed to be uh, with green accents when you like uh, Shift, Shift Alt, and stuff like that. Okay. Let's see. Stock. We have stock messaging. Okay, so no bubble, no bubble messaging like in TouchWiz. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. 
The alarm clock application is TouchWiz. Uh, the calendar application is TouchWiz. Uh, the files manager is Samsung's Files app, which is really good. And the memo app is there, which we all love, right? Uh, music player is TouchWiz mu music player, which uh, looks a lot better and has a lot more uh, features that are so much like makes it so much more user friendly and uh, usable than stock Android. So that's that. And uh, let's see, uh, we do have the four lock screens, just like all previous ROMs uh, that I've uh, messed around with. Uh, we have the Puzzle, Glass, Android, and Epic Unlock, so a lot of lock screen choices for you. Now, a couple of things I want to point out that the uh, in, in terms of features that the ROM doesn't have, okay? Once again, there's no battery indicator percentage up there, which bothers me. Um, I, like, I like that feature implemented into the ROM. I don't like to have to download battery indicator, the application, or a widget, or something like that. I like it implemented there. So that's a bummer. Uh, no extra uh, keyboards like in Xura, it has uh, the HTC IME keyboard. Uh, that doesn't even matter really though, because like many people ha use different keyboards, so it doesn't matter that that's not there. So it's not going to ding a point off of features just because of that. Um, what I did notice though is uh, the camera application doesn't seem to have support for front-facing camera. This button up here says camcorder. It, it's not the button like in Xura that switches you from the back camera to the front camera. So I'm not sure if this ROM supports that. Front-facing camera mods and uh, modifications. And uh, the ROM comes in only two flavors. Basically you get a flavor with the gingerbread launcher or the one with the TouchWiz launcher. Um, in Auxura, it just comes up with one, and then you can choose what, and it comes pre-installed with like four launchers, and you can choose whatever launcher you want. Um, but you know what, I guess it doesn't really matter there, because in the end, you're only going to run one launcher, and anything else is just bloatware that's taking up space. So, you know, either use the gingerbread version of Nero version 3 or TouchWiz. Download whichever one you want to use. If you don't like neither of those, you can go and download ADW or Launcher Pro, whatever tickles your pickle. All right, that wraps up features and functionality, guys. I'm going to rate this category an 8 for this ROM. Uh, just because it's missing a lot of the... It's missing some things that I feel should just be, like, absolutely... It should just be automatic. Like, little features like the battery thing, that, that should just be automatic. I mean, that's... It, it seems like it's a small thing, but to me, it, it just... In my opinion, it's a big deal. Yeah, so, it is what it is. All right, next category, we're going to talk about the looks of the ROM, okay, aesthetics. Uh, so as you can tell, this ROM has is based off of Android 2.3 Gingerbread, so you kind of get a look and feel uh, much like the Nexus S. Okay, as you can see by all the blacks, the uh, green tints, uh, the black and green theming uh, really resembles Gingerbread, and I think it actually gives it a really nice, I really like this theme, by the way. I like the, the color scheme. Uh, in the settings menu, you don't have colored icons. As you can see, the icons are um, black and white, which I think is pretty boring since, uh, you know, Android 2.2 on uh, the Galaxy S, the international version of the Galaxy Tab, are colored. I figured this one should be too, but it's not. Uh, let's see what else we have here. The market that comes pre-installed on the app is just the stock green Android market. It's not the like a themed colored one like in Xero where it's blue. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the boot and shutdown animations. I would really love to show you guys it by rebooting the phone, but unfortunately I'm currently conditioning this phone's battery, so I don't want to mess around with the calibration by rebooting the phone. So just take my word for it, it's a lot cleaner than the Xura one. The shutdown animation is the Galaxy S logo, the S, and then it just kind of breaks apart and fades out, which is really nice. And the boot animation is like... I think it's really funny, but at least it looks nice and is clean. It's like a bottle of beer and a lemon, like a lemon right here and a beer bottle, and it says Team Whiskey, and it's like flashing like a neon lights that you would see in a bar, like that says open, like the sign. It's funny, but at least it looks clean, so. <sighs> All right, moving on. Uh, the menus here, as you can see, they're solid. Like they're, it's like, just like a solid white background. In Xura, it's like faded and it's transparent, which I thought was really cool and uh, aesthetically pleasing. So, 
But what is nice that they included in uh, Nero version 3 are the addition of Nexus S live wallpapers. Like, look, this is the microbes live wallpaper that's in the Nexus S, uh, which is really cool. And then also the, you know, the new Nexus S wallpaper. Very nice, very nice. I like that. Okay, and then, you know, like, on all, uh, down to looks, you know, the ROM, they've sacrificed a lot of uh, eye candy stuff, like transitions and animations, but in the end, I think they did it to, basically, for the good of speed and optimization, so, I'm all for that. For aesthetics, we're going to rate this ROM a 9. It looks good, nice color themes, nice transparent uh, widgets here, the power controller and the search widgets are transparent. Overall, it looks very nice, very nice and clean. All right, moving on to our last category, network and battery. Uh, straight off the bat, very simple. This ROM is based off of JL5, which is a great improvement over JL4. Um, the data reception and the uh, signal reception on, on these ROMs, like Auxura and this one, are just phenomenal. I'm now able to send text messages, make calls, and surf the web in places where I would normally get no signal and wouldn't be able to do any of those things. So, uh, good job incorporating JL5 into these ROMs and making uh, the data connections better. As for battery life, it's pretty much like like everything else, guys. I mean, like, if you can suck out, if you can go through your entire day without having to charge the, the phone, you know, go home after a 12-hour day and you have, like, 10, 20% left, who cares if it's at 10, 20%? You went your whole day. I mean, you're going to go to sleep overnight. You might as well charge it and then start it all over the next day. So, uh, no, nothing big there. Network and battery, though, thanks to that JL5 base, we're going to give it a 9, just like we did in uh, Auxura. I actually updated the score in Auxura after testing it out. Uh, it was really good, so I'll update it, its network and battery category to 9, just like I did here. So when you average all these numbers out, okay, uh, actually, I didn't, I got to do it right now and see what it is. Uh, okay, so when you average out all those numbers, a 9 for speed, 8 for features and functionality, 9 for aesthetics, and 9 for network and battery, you get an overall ROM score of 8.75. 8.75 for Nero version 3. Not a bad ROM, guys. Like, once again, these ROMs are all, they were all very well made, and their developer, and the developers were, are really, did a really great job on optimizing their ROMs. So, performance-wise, they all perform pretty much the same they're all very good uh, in the end you gotta choose what you like and what's more important to you and decide if that is big enough big enough of a factor to make you flash the ROM and if it is there's your ROM alright guys that's it for this video review until next time peace out